Hello there, I'm Black Bright broadcasting out of the UK, representing my Jamaican people there. And yes, I've been sent so many videos. Well, it's the same video, but it's about Tony Singh winning Jamaican's Miss World. And I've seen so many uploads that I thought, you know, is it really worth me saying talking about the same subject but I thought what I would do is talk about it from a different perspective other than those I've already seen and what I wanted to talk about is why I thought what's Tony what's her middle say Tony Ann Singh an Asian Jamaican out of many one people she is one and why do I think she won why do I think she won yeah that's right um, Excel, this is where it was all held. It's a massive place in East London. It's owned by an Abu Dhabi company. It's got 3,900 parking spaces. So that's to give you an idea about how large it is. Piers Morgan was the person, the interviewer then. You know how big he is? Do you know how much it must have cost to get him to ask, to ask the um, contestants questions and he's the perfect person to do it because you can't fluff with Piers Morgan you cannot fluff and then of course we had Peter Andre and he was the compare for the evening now what I want to say about um, Tony and Singh is that I you know what I love about Jamaican winners is that they defy the negative stereotype. People, you know, the media and goodness knows who else, they love perpetuating the negative stereotype that Jamaicans are brash, that they're brawling, that they're loud, that they're aggressive, that they're arrogant. And when you see winners like Tony Ann Singh and even Usain Bolt and so many from Marcus Garvey. How did they portray themselves? They portrayed themselves as hum humble, from humble beginnings and even in their um, celebrity status, they are still humble and yet still strong. You don't look on Tony Ann Singh and think she's a soft touch. You can feel her strength. And you know, when Peter Andre said to her about the big family, because they both came from big families, and he tried to inject big TVs, and she immediately showed us her values and totally dismissed that question. Totally dismissed it. Because large TVs is not one of her values. And Peter Andre was put in his place at that point. So, and then the woman, the woman can sing. Ah, she's got everything. Education, beauty, brains, talent. She's respectful. She's humble. She's appreciative. You've got the whole package there. Some people think it's just about beauty. But, you know, I was listening to the other contestants flailing up with their answers. And, so, you know, um, some of them, India gave a, some good answers. But, you know, Jamaica, she was on it. On it. I don't know if they're told in advance what the questions are going to be. But she knew her stuff. And plus, remember, she has, she's graduated from Florida University. She has um, a degree in psychology and women's studies. She knows what she is on about. And then she came out to Kofi's Liquor Dance. That shows that her roots. She hasn't come up as though one of these top and type of people, out of reach, out of touch. No, she's firmly on the ground. A beautiful woman who's firmly on the ground. That's Tony Ann Singh. Now I'm just going to let you, for those of you who didn't see it, let you see um, her. I can't show a lot of it because we're not allowed to play people's music. But I just... 
want to, every time I set this thing, because it's on one of these um, saver battery things, it, uh, it was supposed to be there. Sorry about this, but you know me by now anyway, so you'll forgive me, I, I'm sure. So let me just find it again. ever performance with I have nothing it's Jamaica I mean, I haven't got the big one but um I think you can see it Oh, I wish you, you have to, if you haven't seen it, just check it out on YouTube. You can see the whole thing. Absolutely phenomenal voice. Beauty, brains, and a beautiful voice. So, um, she was um, crowned by the her, her predecessor, uh, which, who was Vanessa Ponce of Mexico. So, she crowned her and... Um, yeah, I just want to put a few little things down about why I think um, she won. Okay, so not only is she beautiful, educated and talented. I mean, you just heard her voice. Um, she's an advocate for education and holistic development in Jamaica. She shows gratitude to the pageant. You know, she, she actually said, you know, I'm so grateful for being here, for being a part of of this so she can make a change and apparently she's always wanted to sing and never thought she'd have the opportunity now not only is she um miss world she'll be able to sing for the rest of her life um, um appreciation and respect for her parents one of the ultimate gifts one of the ultimate you know that we should all have appreciation and respect of our parents regardless because they brought us into this life into this world and without them we wouldn't be here so we do have some bad parents and we do have some unloving parents but we still have to appreciate and respect their role in our lives so she said if her mother and father are the roots then she is the truth she is the tree and she is the fruit of their labor um, she sh she's self-assured what she said was, as we let our light shine, we unconsciously allow others permission to do the same. She shows cult cultural acceptance. Wagwan. That was her introduction. She's not, she doesn't feel as though she's too big for set Wagwan. You know, some people might have come up there and put on their little posh English accent. But no, she, she ran through the whole gamut of who she is. Um, her values, like I said, you know, she acknowledges the beauty of a large family, but not not the TVs. That's not important to her. Humility. Um, she watched her mother pour everything into her, even at the sacrifice of her mother's wants and needs. And when you see qualities like that all in one little bundle, you can understand why Tony Ann Singh won Miss World 2019. I don't think there is anything else I need to say. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave it there. Bye-bye.